What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing Unboxomania 57. Stay tuned. for one of my favorite things we do on the channel, Unboxing Mania, and this is number 57. We have done 57 episodes of Unboxing Mania, unboxing and reviewing multiple random blind figures that we pull out of this bin behind us. Um, I mean, there's been times where we've done like 15 figures in one thing. That's a lot of unboxing, so thank you for tuning in. It is brought to you by the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. Features a four by Matt Cardona. Features photography by the AEW Jazz Rose photographer, Matthew Goldberg. And you can also build your collection by going to whatheel.com. Joining there, you will get $15 off your first purchase. Whatnot is my favorite place to buy figures now. Love it. You're always going to get a deal. Literally every time. I I've never paid what a standard rate is on eBay or anywhere else, I've always underpaid when I got on there every single time. I mean, it, it's my favorite place. Uh, it really, really honestly is. I, I like to do blind bag auctions on there um, for figures. And there's been, you know, I've sold like $50 figures for 20 bucks on there. It ends up balancing out because it's blind bags and there's other figures involved and stuff. But Man, like you get some good deals on whatnot. Join at whatheel.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. But we're going to get right into this. I love doing these blind unboxings and we're going to just uh, hopefully some elites, basics, uh, Funko Pops, even have some Super 7 Ultimates we still got to unbox. So we're going to rip one open and first thing up, a good one. This is a good one. Series 100, Mr. America. Looks very familiar under there. There he is, the first ever Mr. America figure, official figure, not including the, Safu, uh, the Safubi from Japan. Uh, first time in the line, because that's not Hulk Hogan, that is Mr. America. From Venice Beach, California, six feet, seven inches, 302 pounds, his finisher is the leg drop. Career highlights, WWE champion, world tag team champion. Hmm. With Hulk Hogan gone from WWE, a mysterious masked man who embodied the spirit of a real American joined the SmackDown roster, brother. And also in this set is the America Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. America, that's what it says. Kevin Owens, Johnny Knoxville, Ricochet, and Sonya Deville. This is the chase in the set. And the chase is very, very similar. But the standard, you can see, just has the star on the mask. We're going to rip in this. I This is a figure. I'm glad we pulled this one. Um, I have been waiting since I was in high school for a Mr. America figure. We finally have it. And it comes with an interchangeable head that I think, um, is genius. I, I, I couldn't have thought of a better interchangeable head myself. So I got to say they knocked it out of the park with this. Four hands and only one of them strapped in. Hey. Get that out of here. All right. So you know how it is. We got to deconstruct the figure to talk about it, right? So. Mr. America, first time in line figure, comes with the Mr. America shirt. And of course, it's got the signature Hogan slots down the back. He's tan, but is he tan enough? That is, um, that remains to be seen. I'm not sure he's tan enough, but very cool. He's got his hair coming out the back. The signature Fu Manchu, the star on the blue mask, the red, white, and blue stripes down 
almost like a flag waving down his legs. The boots are incredible with the eagle, the light blue, the red. That is a nice looking figure. The single star on the one knee pad, the single star on the other side. Very, very um, nicely done on the gear. I do dislike when the torso is too small for the crotch piece, which I've said a lot. There's like that lip there. It should not be that way, in my opinion. He comes with the Mr. America uh, weight belt with the eagle. Wow, I cut my finger open on uh, popping those things out. Uh, but if you're gonna display this, right? You're gonna display this with all the gear on. I can't imagine anybody is rocking this on their shelf without the shirt and without the weight belt and without the um, bow is on. Like you just gotta have it, right? I'm trying to be careful. I don't wanna get blood on this shirt. But I mean, man, this thing looks awesome. Great looking figure. Uh, honestly, this exceeds my expectations of any uh, Mr. America I could have imagined in my head. But we're gonna swap out the head and uh, see how that shush head looks, which I think is an awesome, nice touch that, again, I would not have thought of. So, there is the additional head. And I call it the shush head because it has a shush finger you can put in front of his mouth, which, which is how they kind of advertise it. it, looks cool. These are two bows that kind of intertwine right here, the red, the blue, the white, so we're gonna put the shush finger on. We're gonna take the head off. Came off very easily. I do think of these two that the unmasked head is pretty cool and looks great, just like uh, Hulkster. But I mean, I guess if you display and you kind of got to have the, the mask head on, right? It's Mr. America at that point. If you have this head on, it's a Hulk Hogan figure. And you know, I get it, he is Hulk Hogan, but. Pretty cool. But again, yeah, it just looks like a Hulk Hogan figure. And in this instance, um, while I thought that this would be what I'd display it with, I'm actually taking it off. I gotta keep it with the Mr. America head. It's Mr. America. Um, I don't have any Mr. America figures, official Mr. America figures uh, in my collection. So you gotta have this one, right? All right. So it's settled. Mr. America. Going on the shelf. doing the flex, doing his dang thing. The slots in the back, such a cool figure, man. What a banger. A B-A-N-G-E-R, very cool. Bravo Mattel on that one. Love it, man. All right, let's open up some, oh, what do we got? What do we got here? We have another <laughs> America themed figure. We have Tyrus. This is the Major Bendy's exclusive Tyrus, the limited edition, as you can see there, uh, repaint. The red, white, and blue Tyrus, very, very cool. Best-selling Major Bendy in the entire line was his original, and this one's doing pretty well as well. The background of this card's actually nice. It's like a faded American flag, if you look. Let's see. All right, so it's the red, white, and blue. Very cool on the back. He's got his stamped signature with the vertebrae in blue, outlined in red. Those, those nice blue knee pads that say Tyrus Smash. The red, white, and blue singlet says Tyrus Smash on that. Oh, he's got, he's got a uh, logo on his hat. The red, white, and blue logo, the stripes. Stars and stripes, I mean. One thing I wish is that on the hat, I wish it had the, um, the little white block that is shown on the picture here. 
Uh, he's got his tattoos, his taped hand, his taped fingers, which is pretty cool. It's a nice touch. It's key for Tyrus. Um, I love the major bendies. I saw people complaining, oh, you can't really bend them. Um, it, it, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. You're not supposed to... Nobody's playing with bendies. Nobody played with bendums back in the day. They were difficult then. They're difficult now. This is just a stylized figure. Um, and I think that they did a great job with it. Typically, they are two pieces. This is a single mold, too. And it's a, it's a hefty one at that. So good job to the major bendies on this one. I love it. Can't wait to add it to the shelf, which I'm going to do right now. All right, let's see what else. What do we got? Another Elite. Ooh, another 101. Um, first time in the line, my man, Johnny Knoxville from Jackass. I was a huge Jackass fan, CKY fan, so I'm thrilled to have this. From Knoxville, Tennessee, six feet, one inches, weight, two cheeseburgers away from 175. His finisher is the giant mousetrap. The Knoxville strong boy pulled out all the stops to defeat Sami Zayn in a hijinks field. Anything goes match at WrestleMania 38. There he is on the side. First time in the line. Johnny Knoxville has a friggin' WWE figure, and I, I love it. I gotta watch my mouth. I love it. Um... So we're going to open this up and this is a figure that I've been waiting for. I have it mint on card. I had to get it to open and keep loose because like I said, I'm a big jackass fan. I love Johnny. Um, I've always been a fan and I'm thrilled to have this loose. So man, he's so skinny. They really got him strapped in there. I'm always afraid I'm going to rip something. Um, now, what I've said for people, if you don't like Johnny Knoxville, that's fine. You know, Andy Kaufman is in the um, Hall of Fame now, and this would make for a great Andy Kaufman Mattel Elite uh, custom. And I've been saying that since they first showed it. Uh, just you, you gotta have some skills in painting. Take off the head, get the Jack's head, which is pretty great, or use the Noam Dar head, which I think could work pretty well as well little bit more Jim Carrey, Andy Kaufman than real Andy Kaufman, but still, a, you know, you get the picture. So he's got his hand tattoos, which is actually incredibly detailed because I did not even know that he had hand de uh, tattoos. They're very, very small. One's like a lightning bolt. The other one looks like it's just like a circle. I don't know. He's got JK on his, um, on his front, the white elbow pads, white knee pads, white shorts, the socks rolled up. They got the space between his pants ending and his socks. He's got his signature chucks on in the red. Very, very cool, man. Looks great. Johnny Knoxville, world champion on the back. Wow. So let's get these glasses on. The glasses, honestly, as I'm looking at them, putting them on his head, they look too small. They had it. I hope I don't break these. The glasses are pretty much too small for the figure. I mean, once you get them on, they're good, but they're very, very tight. Like, you have to be careful. I, I would be afraid to rip them. Um, very cool that the hands have the tattoos on them still. Very, very unique, man. Wow, this figure is incredible. I want more Jackass figures in the WWE line. You can't hate this figure, man. What a fun match with Sami Zayn and the figure itself is a great way to commemorate it. And congratulations to Johnny on getting a WWE figure, man. I don't think he probably thought he'd ever get a WWE action figure. Uh, especially even when he signed up for this match, he probably didn't think they were going to make an action figure of him. But look at us a year later, man. Here we are. It's, it's in stores. What a What a time to be alive, man. I will say this, it's hard to stand. It's one of the hardest elites to stand. I've, I've had it in a minute. Um, let's do another one. Another elite. Ooh, a Chase. This is the Chase Series 99 Brock Lesnar from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Six feet, three inches, 286 pounds. His finisher is the F5, Universal Champion, WWE Champion. After the alpha male of our species won the WWE Championship, he set his sights on the Universal Championship held by Roman Reigns. 
This is the set that had Queen Zelina, Seth Rollins, Matt Riddle, Brock, obviously, uh, Happy Corbin, and the Boogeyman, which was the chase, as well as Brock. Happy Corbin is an awesome figure as well. I got to pick that one up. There he is, Brock, looking serious. Here he is, rocking the farmer gear, hunting, whatever you want to call it. I love farmer Brock. All right, we're going to pop these hands out first. Very simple to get out, just how we like it. All right, so I actually like that. It's, it's like strapped around, I like that. All right, so he comes with the, um, the blue overalls with the blue checkered shirt, not exactly what he wore. It's actually a little too bright. I don't think this color exists anywhere for any jean type stuff. Uh, he's got his tattoos on his arms there's his left arm tattoo a little high up if you ask me here's his right arm skull on the shoulder and i love that they even included his chest tap peeking out of his black shirt underneath I'm trying to see if the camera can pick it up underneath look at that he's got um, a great head scan smiling with the beard he's got the ponytail up top very nicely done on Mattel's part. The WWE uh, Championship has the Brock Lesnar logos on it, which they're doing now. And he comes with this uh, cowboy hat. Wrong way, I think. There it is. Which pops off a little bit because of the ponytail, but still looks great. What a figure, man. I'm going to switch this out. Very cool. Love it. It's got a little rubber band here, which I'm keeping there, so it kind of holds the title in place. Looks phenomenal. This is definitely going on display. So... Yeah, not a bad unboxing mania. We got Series 101, Mr. America and Johnny Knoxville. Series 99, Chase Brock Lesnar, as well as the Major Bendy's uh, Tyrus in the red, white, and blue. So comment below. Let me know your favorite figure we unboxed today. And uh, stay tuned for unboxing mania 58. That's insane, man. I still can't believe we got there. Be sure to join Whatnot at WhatHeal.com and you'll get $15 off your first purchase. You can even buy merch from us on there. I got figures up there, uh, books, comic books, coloring books, uh, pins, trading cards. Go on there and get some stuff for free, essentially. So we'll see you on the next one and pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Check. Peace, guys. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 50 years of wrestling figure collecting, featuring over 2,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands in wrestling history. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, as well as mint on card and loose value. With a forward by professional wrestler Matt Cardona and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist is a must-have for collectors. Premium full-color and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.